Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So I'm going to do just a really quick video. I did one on this look and I'm going to be doing a drugstore haul and a Sephora haul. And I'm going to try to make them like under 10 minutes or maybe a tiny bit over. And I'm just going to jump right into it really fast. So the first things I'm going to show y'all are the Wet n Wild brushes, okay? I got um the small concealer brush. I got the large eyeshadow brush, the powder brush, and the flat top brush. This one is the flat top brush. It's really soft. I really love it. I have not used it yet, but just doing this, it's really soft. And if it doesn't work for foundation, I can find something that it will work for, trust me. And the powder brush, it's great for stippling or buffing, whatever you feel like doing, because it's just up to you. And then the small concealer brush. Now you can't take this and blend, that's for sure, concealer because it's just not gonna work. But um, it's great to spot conceal, good to clean up your liquid lipstick, good to clean up your eyebrows, or do your inner corner highlight or your brow bone highlight. That's what I will, I will be using this for. And this is their large shadow brush. Now, I think this is good for packing on color, but the way it's shaped, I feel like it's really good to get right up in that crease. And for some reason, I think it would really work good for hooded eyes. I don't know why I'm thinking that. I just feel like it would. And then I got two, a new foundation, and it is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation in Natural Beige and the Concealer in Ivory. So far, I like it. I need to wear it out, though, and really form an opinion. I did do a demo on it, though. And then I got the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara by L'Oreal. And it looks like this. And I don't know how I feel about it yet. I have not worn it. But it's like the brush is different. So... I'll be trying it out soon and I'll let y'all know what I think. And then I got, of course, a Wet n Wild little single eyeshadow and it's called Cheeky. And it looks like this. I'm going to open it for y'all. And it's just a pink, pretty, pretty pink um, eyeshadow really pretty I mean and a dollar you can't beat that and then I got two of the Revlon photo ready eye arts and I got one in Topaz Twinkle and the other one and I don't know how to even pronounce it oh okay it's a burnished bling I was reading the other language for it but it's burnished bling it's really pretty it's like a goldish coppery color and then this one is this right here and it has like a foiled kind of look effect, like a foiled glittery kind of look effect. I really, really love those. I want to go get some other colors, if not every single color they have. And I do have a dupe video that I'm going to be doing with those. And then I went to go grab, actually, friends, um, the other colors in these. And I found this one. And it actually says it's new. And it says it's an ombre one. And it's the LA Colors loose eyeshadow pigment and this is it right there it's really really pretty and you can't beat the price and excuse me i have to grab these lashes that i got and i got the i'm sorry i got the um wet and wild i do have a pair of them on i got the limited edition i believe they're limited edition and they're the wet and wild lashes and let's see um I had grabbed like five packs, but I did give one away in the giveaway. And then these are in the mood for for mod, and they're the ones that I have on. They're so pretty, y'all. And then these are Lasherid, and they're gorgeous. And then of course, I love my Ardell Kiss or Salon Perfect, and I have a pair of the Salon Perfect Go Glam Demi Wispies, and they're gorgeous. And then I got a 
um, my friend, she was like, she can't find these where she was at. So I went on a hunt for these to um, send her one and I got myself one and they had other colors. They were red. Um, so just for now, I chose these colors, but I do want to go get the red colors too. And hopefully I can find the other colors that they have as well eventually. But it is the Tattoo Junkie Lip Paints. Y'all, let me tell you, this freaking liquid lipstick's awesome. It's it right here. And that's it with the glitter on top. So pretty. And that's like the glitter. You don't have to use this on your lips if you don't like glitter on your lips. You can use it on your eyes. You know, whatever you want to do. But y'all, this liquid lipstick is freaking awesome. And then I got the Physician's Formula Mother of Pearl. Um, it's supposed to be like a blush, bronzer, and then highlighter. Um, the bronzer is too, like, it It shows, but not really. And the blush, it shows, but not really. I just like to mix it all together and wear it just as strictly a highlight. Now, the gold that comes up on top of nude wear, I do wish it would stay there because it makes the, when you first open it, you're like, damn, that's pretty. But once that rubs off, you're like, oh, it's pretty, but... I mean, it's really pretty, but it's not like, bam, intense like it is when it has that um, gold glitter or whatever it is that they put on new to wear. Um, and the packaging is freaking to die for. It's really cute. I actually need to go back because the day after I got this, I heard that the store had a sale, buy one, get one free, like, and I just, just got this. So I need to go find out if I can freaking do that because go, go figure, that's my luck, right? me luck me luck and then i grabbed the la colors day to night eyeshadow palette y'all so pretty this is one of the colors right there they're just really pigmented i'll show y'all another color i'll do like this little pink color right here look at that i mean really come on la colors you did your thing in a great inexpensive beautiful beautiful palette and then it's the Wet n Wild, of course. I will never have like a drugstore haul. It would be rare without some Wet n Wild up in here. Um, and it's the Poster Child palette. And these are some of the colors. Pretty palette. Definitely, you know, for some people out of their comfort zone, which is why I got it. And then I got a Rimmel Kate lipstick and i got it in number 44 and it looks like let me show you right here wait there you go it's really really gorgeous and then like legit ashley i wish i would have found this before i sent your freaking package girl really like because I don't know. You'll have to let me know if you like it. And if you still can't find them, I'll um I'll send you this because I did pick you up one. It's just I was gonna surprise you, but I did pick you up one to send in like your new package that I eventually want to send you like really soon with the surprise package we talked about. But it's the um Rimmel Kate number 47. And it looks like this. So let me know, Ash, if you like it. And I'll put it on. I have it on now. And I mix it with this color. When I did this look, I was like, hmm, let me like mix these two. Just gorgeous. So yes, Ash, if you like the um, number 47, let me know and I'll send it to you. I don't know if you're going to like it. I picked it up anyway. For you, I was like, oh, you know, whatever, but just let me know if you like it. If not, I can just go return it or I can find somebody that would like it. You know, it's up to you. But, um, yes, I was going to surprise you with it. Surprise ruined, right? But that is going to be all. I have one more to do. And that's only going to take a minute, too. But come back and see me again soon. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.